Summer return to Camden Yards coming up on Monday. But there was a different a kind of an opening this day in Owings Mills this morning. Manny Locke takes us to the grand opening of a new museum dedicated to the Negro League baseball. Three. You're out. Hundreds attended today's grand opening of the Hubert V. Simmons Museum of Negro League Baseball. Simmons played for the legendary Baltimore Elite Giants in the 50s. The museum is named after him. I think it's special not just for myself and not just for the memory of my husband, but because it focuses on a time in our history. This museum has a real mission when it comes to the young people. You know, the Orioles play uh, next week, opening day, but this opening day today at this venue, our new museum, the Hubert B. Simmons Museum of Negro League Baseball, is out of this world. Among some of the honorees, Dr. Byron of the Tuskegee Airmen, former Negro players Luther Atkinson, Mammy Peanut Johnson of the Indianapolis Clowns, one of only three women to play in the Negro Leagues, has the second floor of the museum dedicated to women ball players. I was a ball player from South Carolina. Oh, wow. You know, it says to me, you achieved what you wanted. And, and, and it makes me feel pretty good. And really, I, I, I have to give all respect in the world to Tony Stone because she was the first lady. The museum has three floors of Negro League memorabilia, lots of black and white photographs, Leon Day's Hall of Fame trophy, and classic films for students of all ages to watch. Simmons' longtime friend Ray Banks still carries that message. In his spirit, I felt that today. And I'll continue to do this as long as I live in memory of him, teaching and talking about Negro League baseball. In Owings Mills, Manny Locke, ABC 2 News. You know, Kelly, uh, Geraldine was there today, Leon Day's widow. Mm -hmm. And Geraldine remembers when Keith Mills and Manny were at Leon's bedside when he was dying. And she remembered that interview. And everybody who remembered Leon Day remembers that interview. And uh, to be remembered like this is great. The Hubert V. Simmons Museum of Negro League Baseball is located right there in the Baltimore County Public Library of Owings Mills. It's open to the public, and we've also posted a gallery of pictures on our website, abc2news.com. Great history.